Welcome everybody back to Just Plain Crazy. I am Brendan, thanks for joining me again for another episode. We are down here at Warbirds over Hagerstown. What an amazing event. And standing behind me is Quan. Quan is a BVM team pilot and he is gonna take us through this incredible F-15. So let's get to it. turbine starts and it runs at a regular temperature then it gives me the control back on my control and you got it to fly until you shut your motor off. Short takeoff distance in the BVM F-15. Gear up, flaps up. Do you see this gorgeous bird? Four point roll. sound on it is just amazing. Of course when this thing comes out to the field, you know, it clears off everything else that's flying because everybody just wants to see it. Got a bird up there, if you ain't careful, gonna get sucked in. Nice show pass. Beautiful. Love the Nassau scheme in this one. Just a nice clean white with some blue straight lines in it. Nice barrel roll. 
F-15 is such an iconic plane platform, being undefeated in military service. This thing, nice sunset flight, just super. Little high alpha here. Your pass. And they'll be coming in and landing this thing. Just gotta love seeing that light coming in. Smooth like butter, guys. So, Juan, thanks for taking the time to go through your awesome, incredible jet here with us. So, uh, why don't you, you tell us a little bit about you, a little bit about the plane. All right. So, um, uh, once again, my name is Quan Ko. I uh, just retired from the hobby hangar. I've been uh, uh, doing retail business for over 30 years. Uh, and, um, and I've been in uh, BVM Pilot for some time. I love their product. And when you see the video, you'll see how uh, nice they fly. Uh, they went through a lot of extensive uh, test flights through their team pilots and stuff, including myself. So you'll be able to see some uh, planes in action. Um, this is called what they call the plug-and-play. So just like your, uh, you know, like a foamy uh, plug-and-play you get, basically it's a plane um, that comes with a color scheme of your choice. It's got lighting system. It's got flaps, aileron. Uh, only optional thing that I had to put on was I had to put in a pilot of your choice. Uh, I decided to go with the Schwewin, um turbine. That's a 140 class. That's what the BVM recommends. And I think you can fly up to like a 170. Although that 140 is just perfect combination in my opinion. Um, scale rate tracks, flaps, uh, working steps, uh, twin rudder. Um, it's got lighting system. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Look at the detail in the uh, the tail cones on these things, guys. Amazing. Very clean, well built airplane, and it's white, shiny white. When you see this thing fly, you're absolutely going to be amazed at what it can do. I was, you know, you think, oh, not a big wing surface. It's got to fly fast or it don't fly well. Uh, definitely, definitely not the case. So, um, cool. Anything else you want to add to it, Quan? Or what are you flying for, for guidance there? What are you using for radio uh, systems? So, um, I've been um, a Spectrum pilot for a long, long time, and this is what we used to sell. Uh, I just had an opportunity to try this new uh, Powerbox core system. Uh, beautiful system. I still think the, you know, uh, they're both, uh, I mean, Spectrum offers so much more value for what they sell. Uh, I still fly, matter of fact, the Cougar that I'm going to fly later has an IX-20 in it. This one I started with the IX-20. I just had an opportunity to uh, fly the uh, core radio, so I'm trying that now. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, I, I just can't say enough good things about the BBM plug and play. Um, awesome, awesome. So, if you had to recommend somebody to get into to turbine jets with uh, BVM, what do you think would be good entry level? Is that the place to start, or should somebody go a different route? Well, you know, um, I mean, you, you kind of get quality, and you get what you pay for, so to speak. So, um, I think most people, when they get started in a, a turbine jet, 
uh, they typically start off with a uh, sport jet because um, they th tend to be a little bit um, easier like if you overshoot your runway um, it's easier to take off on a taller grass and so forth uh, but if you were to do a scale uh, ship um, and if you have some experience flying a really fast duck like the fan airplane and a warbird uh, I think you could jump right into a, a BVM Cougar that's also a plug and play and many different you know, favorite colors available and, it, and you get to see that one fly and land and take off and, and it's, a, it's got a small 100 class motor in it that's what BVM recommends and it's just that's an amazing plane as well guys and you're gonna see that one fly uh, we're gonna get to this one what's the all-up weight in this thing ready to fly weight do you know offhand I believe hopefully I didn't get it wrong I think they're like in a 32 pound range 32 pounds right and retracts is it somebody else's retracts or retracts come with this thing Yeah, that's all BVM all BVM retracts and yep. stuff so all the details are all done for you already as a BVM plug-and-play I did add the pilot in there. Um, I put my favorite, you know, receivers, gyro setup. Um, everything's a redundancy, so I've run two receivers, two batteries, separate ECU battery. And I believe that's the industry standard. Juan's got quite the setup here on his fuel caddy. <laughs> and is this kerosene or is this diesel? Uh, actually, it's a. Uh, I've been burning um, Jet A fuel. Okay. So uh, because I have access, I do a, a local airport air show, and they're kind enough to, you know, give me jet fuel to go practice. But uh, kerosene works great. I believe most of these engines are. Um, compatible with the diesel also. Do you have to add oil or anything to the Jet A or is it good the yeah, way it is? I think the, the diesel you might add a little less oil but I think rule of thumb is uh, core for every five gallons. Core for every five gallons, yep. okay. Good. So I'm going to reach over and hit the fuel open. Double tap up on the throttle trim. Okay, so this is your typical starting throttle up. Once the motor spins, throttle back down. <clears throat> Once turbine starts and it runs at a regular temperature, then it gives me the control back on my control thing. That is to fly until you set your motor on.
right guys, and there you have it. Again, it's Brendan here at Just Plain Crazy. I'm with BVM team pilot Quan. I hope you liked what you saw. If you're interested in that jet, do me a favor, head on over to BVM Jets and check them out at www.bvmjets.com. So with that being said, thanks again for joining me, Quan. Thank you. Awesome job. Thank you, thank you. Way to fly. And uh, with that being said, guys, you're just playing crazy for watching. I'm just playing crazy. I wish you guys happy flights. Peace out.